Does he know that you're allowed to fold? <laughs> you know? He's impressive. He has just come to play. No, he doesn't know that concept. He's called it. Let's see if he gets lucky. Flop is nine, seven, four, all hearts. Tree wing with the nines. Tree nice. checked it. And now Andres with nothing hitting there. He's going to make the continuation bet, 285. Well, Vince Tree's got the kind of hand that most people are just going to check raise right here with this hand. You've got top pair and a flush draw. But no, he's just going to call it. And now the deuce of hearts comes off. So he Another has the heart. best hand with the flush. Has his opponent drawing dead, but I'm sure he doesn't know that. Let's see what he's going to do here with the jack high flush. He's going to check. Now the Hungarian gets none of that, but he's uh -huh. riffling chips. Does he dare? Well, the ever aggressive Hungarian. Looks like he's going to fire again, oh, Vince. Oh, oh, oh. Well, he's fired shell number two here. Bluffing this pot. 480,000 this time. Just hoping against hope that Wing has no heart and will disappear into the night. Now, you might be saying, well, there's only three cards can beat him, the ace, king, or queen of hearts, but if you're sitting there with a jack high flush, you're saying, what else could this guy be betting but a big heart? 480. He's either oh. bluffing or he's, he's got me dead. He's making this call. Well, what a great call by Tree here. Just reading Andres as a bluffer. And now the Queen of Diamonds comes off. So nothing has changed. Tree has the best hand with the jack high flush, but let's see what's going to happen on this street. And Tree is going to check again. And let's say it ain't so. Unbelievable. Is he going to load up again? The European is going for another load of chips, it looks <laughs> like. He is going to fire a third shell at this pot on a bluff. Forget the shell. It's artillery here over a million dollar bet. This incredible heart by Andres, the Hungarian. But this is not an easy call by Tree. Uh, what will he do? Very tough call to make, Vince. More than half the chips he's got left. And he is going to make the He's call. Do it. Well, Andres has just folded his hand as yep. soon as he said call. Talk about Hart making the bet. What about Hart making the call with the jack eye flush? I don't have to show, right? Tree says, do I have to show mine? And the guy mucked his cards. The answer is no. But that is the call of the night. So well done by Tree Wing. To Tree or not to Tree, he has the answer. Big pot for Tree. Four players remain here on the World Poker Tour, and we're coming back for more. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. We're at the Commerce Casino for the LA Poker Classic. Four players remain. Vince, let's talk a little bit about the Commerce Casino, the world's largest poker room. And here they have not only magnificent tournaments, but downstairs as wide a variety of cash games as you're going to find anywhere in the world. The biggest and the best. A lot of fun here. But right now, the guys that are having fun are guys that are going after the millions here tonight. Let's go back down to the table, see what happens next. Well, two of these four players will become poker made millionaires tonight. The winner taking home nearly 1.8 million. The runner up getting also over a million. Action on the 23 year old Raymond Dolan peeks down at a jack nine. Well, he's under the gun, meaning he's first to speak. Just has a jack nine offsuit, but looks like he's going to play this hand, Vince. Indeed, he is. Comes out betting 200,000. Into the Hungarian. Who quickly folds his hand and now Dr. Kovork with a king ten of spades. Well, he's just seeing these guys raise all the time, so he's finally going to make a stand and see a flop here with the king ten of spades. Doesn't raise. Let's face it, the man's tighter than the back seat of a Yugo. And Tree amazingly goes out. One of the rare times. And the flop comes queen four deuce with two diamonds, no help to either player. Check. Kovork checks. Looks like Raymond's going to make the continuation bet. 220,000. Oh, boy. That's going to get the job done. Most likely, you can just see the frustration on Gavork's face here. Uh, can't make anything happen. Roll picking on him, and he goes out. Yep, right now, he's got to feel like a pinata, Vince. 
The way they're all hitting on him all the time here, looks like. But there's a case where the guy that's leading out and doing the betting has the advantage because most likely your opponent's not going to hit the flop when he doesn't hit it. If you bet, tough for him to call. That was the case right there. All right, the venture capitalist going out on this hand. And now Raymond also folding. And Andres looks down at a queen jack. Oh, in. Well, he's going all in. Oh, wow. <laughs> More frustration for Gabor. Not only does he not pick up a hand, his opponents are moving in on him now. Of course, there is no defense against the all-in bet. You have to have a hand to play against it. Doesn't matter who you are. Right out of the gate, Andres now, the Hungarian, picking up a pair of sevens. He's got the two walking sticks, as we say. There's the Hungarian beach club, as you like to call them. <laughs> And Andres has raised the 180. Dr. Gavork out. The tree wing has picked up a pair of fives. I better be a little careful here. He's been very, very aggressive so far. And usually aggressive with very bad hands. Here he's got a pair, but just opts to call. Into Raymond. Just got a jack eight. Oh, Raymond, I feel like he's priced in right now. And it cost him 100000 to call, but there's 480000 in the pot. So he's getting a good price to call. He does so, and we have three-way action. Yep. The kid's going to speculate, and it's going to pay off. He hit a pair of eights right there. Yep, it's come eight, six, three. Action is on tree right now. He's going to check his two fives. Raymond also checking. Well, he's checking to the ever-aggressive Hungarian. But if I was sitting in Andres' seat right now and had a pair of sevens and my opponents checked me with this board, I would bet. You think two sevens are probably the best hand here? The way the betting's gone. Well, he's betting 300,000. Now, Tree Wing with the pair of fives. Well, tough decision for Tree. He's seen this guy bluff time and time again. Is he just making a continuation bet? Well, perhaps because there's three players in the pot. He's going to get away from his hand and a good lay down by Tree there. Is Raymond's family, Tim Fan and brother? A raise. And he's going to raise. Do what your bro said to do. Well, he's flop top pair, so he's just check raising here. Trap your man. You got your eights. And he's going to put it up to 750,000 to go. That's one cold bowl of goulash, if you ask me, for the Hungarian. I bet you just don't know if you're sitting there with two sevens. You say to yourself, what the guy really called a raise before the flop with just an eight in his hand? Well, he likes to protect his mid pairs, doesn't trust anyone that's Hungarian. He's going to make the call. Well, a deuce of clubs comes off. Action back on Raymond. He's going to check. And Andres checks right behind him. Now a queen comes off. Again, no help to either player. Raymond checks the two eights. Hey. Andres checks right behind him, and Raymond Dolan is going to take this pot down. 23-year-old's getting closer to taking home $1.8 million. Will he do it? We're coming back with more action here on the World Poker Tour. Stay with us. Tonight's World Poker Tour brought to you by FullTiltPoker.net. The Commerce Casino in Los Angeles. I'm Vince Van Patten with Mike Sexton. Four players remain. And Vince, what a final table we've seen here at the LA Poker Classic. Just terrific action. A lot of bluffing, a lot of maneuvering. Four players left. As you can see, Raymond Dolan now, our chip leader, with 6.2 million in chips. The blinds are going up to 50 and 100,000, Mike. Well, Raymond, the youngest player at the table, his brother Tim Fan staked him in this event. And here he is with four players left as our chip leader. To the action, we go Gavork quickly folding. And Tree Wing, ever aggressive with just 10-9. Just gonna call this time. Now it's on the young restaurant manager, Raymond Dolan. He's got a King 10. Youngest of 10 children. He's a chip leader and he just calls as well. And Andres with a 6-5 of clubs. Well, Andres has the suited connectors. He's in the big blind. 
Nobody raised it yet, so he says, okay, let's have a flop. Again, we have three-way action. Flop comes queen, six deuce. Andres getting a piece of that with the sixes. Now action's on Raymond, he checks. Andres knocking up at his sixes, and Tree content to see the turn card. It's a deuce of spades, pairs the board. So Andres still out in front with two pairs, sixes and deuces. Raymond Dolan, though, with nothing gonna bet. He's got the king high. 175,000. And he's quickly called by Andres. Tree is going to get out of the way. Down to the river we go. Oh, well, boy. another six comes off. Perfect card for Andres. Hits full house. Six is full. Raymond checks to him. Well, certainly he's going to bet six is full. Yeah, 375,000. Now, Vince, if you're sitting in Raymond's seat, you're saying, you know, the guy didn't bet on the flop of the queen. He's so aggressive. He would have bet a pair, wouldn't he, on the flop if he'd have had one. What are you trying to say? You should make this call? I'm trying to say that even though he just has a king high here, I could see where he could think it would be the best hand. He'd like to be a hero, make his brother proud, but this time he's made this call. It's a bad one. Unfortunately for him, the Hungarian at six is full and is going to take down this pot. A little revenge there for Andres. He needed that. Well, because this guy is so aggressive, Vince, you make calls like that. You know, aggressive players, as you know, get paid off a lot more in the river when they bet than tight players do. All right, Raymond smarting a little bit, folds his hand. And now back on Andres, he quickly folds as well. Now Dr. Govork with an ace-10. Going all in with the short stack. The only one to beat is Tree Wing. Tree has an ace-seven of clubs. Pretty much. You know this guy's the tightest player at the table, Vince, but still, he's liable to make this move with king-queen or king-jack suited. That's a pretty big bet. I have a good hand. You have a good hand? Yes. I have a pretty decent hand, too. Dr. Kvork trying to be honest, saying I have a very good hand. Well, Tree always likes to ask him what they have. There's a lot of table talk. If you double me up, best. <laughs> I don't want to double you up, is the problem. Call. Wow. He's made the call. Just after he made the speech, he didn't want to double him up. He makes the call and most likely will double him up. This is Gavork well out in front with the ace 10 against the ace 7. 10. Gavork loving this. Well, that's as bad as everything's gone for Gavork so far at this final table. All that could be amended right here if he doubles up. Well, the flop comes king 6 4 with two clubs. And Gavork is frowning because his opponent now has an ace-high flush draw and a backdoor straight draw. Yes, he has. The doctor has to sweat out two cards to double up. Tree wing with a good flop. Here comes the turn card. Three. When well, the three of spades comes off, now this gives Tree more outs. He now has a straight draw as well. He can win the pot with a five, a seven, or a club. Going to the river, and Dr. Gavorkian making his first real killing of the evening takes down that pot. Now, for all the pain and misery he's been through, one all in double up makes up for it all, Vince. So Gavork sits back down. We still have four players left in contention for the nearly $1.8 million first place prize and that coveted WPT title. Well, with that hand, I am sorry to say, but we're out of time here at the Commerce Casino. Please join us next time for the exciting conclusion of the L.A. Poker Classic. For Vince Van Patten and everyone at the World Poker Tour, I'm Mike Sexton saying thanks for watching. And until next time, may all your cars be live and your pots be monsters. <laughs> I don't understand what this is for. <laughs>